how would you implement a um, like a song a week strategy? Like if somebody came to you and said that, hey, I want to do a song a week strategy, like how would you break it down in terms of like the goal of it um, and how to like really optimize it? Yeah, so I mean, the, the first thing I would ask them is actually exactly that. Like what is the goal that you're looking to get out of this? Are you looking to, um, you know, figure out a song to scale? Are you just trying to pad out your catalog? Um, are you, I don't know, like, are you, is this something you plan on maintaining long term? You know, like, are you going to do a song a week for the next four weeks? Or are you going to do this shit for like next like 15 weeks? You know what I'm saying? Something like that. So I would get a gauge of that. And okay. I, I mean, so I'll say this like, we've done a couple of campaigns like that in the agency, maybe like four, you know, and I personally don't like doing them because what always happens to me is yep. we always land on a song that's doing really well. And then by the time we finally got it to, so, you know, like a week is basically just the testing phase. And so it's basically yes. like the first yes. couple of days of the test ad campaign. And then by the time it, it, we finally got it to a sweet spot, the next song is out and we're moving on. So what I would do with them is either like set aside an individual ad budget. And I mean, well, so I would say this, like the way I would go into it, I would be looking at it as a test campaign to figure out what song am I going to put like real marketing dollars into? And then looking at the Got other it. music as more so of just like padding content, like, all right, this is how I'm gonna keep people's interest. Um, this is how I'm gonna yeah, just, yeah. you know, you know, get people's Spotify's activated, you know what I'm saying, uh, triggering that release radar stuff. But I would still be looking for like, what song am I going to actually scale either when I'm tired of doing this song a week thing or like, you know, just, or just period, because I want to still bring in traffic from that. So I was still planning to, to spend like an even amount of ad dollars there. That's just typically what we do. Um, mm -hmm. Still run like the same like week, two week um, testing phase around each of them, even if the next song is already dropped, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would still go into it with like a two week mindset. Um, mm -hmm. And then like, I would very quickly try to land on like which of them is going to be the one that you scale up and once again put majority of your marketing dollars into and, and have be pushed out. And then the rest okay. of the songs, I will honestly just start to run as like retargeting content, you know? Yeah. So it's like, all right, so if you drop four songs, you see song number two is killing it, build a marketing plan around song number two, and then everything else just run as a retargeting uh, to the audience set of song number two, even like the new stuff that you put out. Um, and then beyond that, I was I would still put the same amount of like release energy into each of them as far as like content. So like still a visualizer for each, still a lyric video yeah. for each, still clean and dirty audio, like 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 still putting the same amount of attention into each of them because if you're going to do that type of strategy, you don't want the fans to feel like you already have a favorite because you're ultimately looking for like which one is their favorite. You know what I'm saying? Right, you right, want right. Not, like to sway a pen as much like fans pick up on shit like that, like, oh damn. He shot three music videos for this one. He ain't do shit for this one. He don't really fuck with that one. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I would look. At, I would look at it like that. But like, that's how I look at those campaigns. Like every campaign we've had is like that. I look at it like okay, they're stacking up content or padding their their YouTube account with content. They're padding their Spotify, um, and then they are looking for a song to possibly scale up. You know, eight weeks from now, whenever they're done dropping however many singles they want to drop. Wow, oh, what's up, it's Brandman Sean, and if you got value from this video, we got a ton of value to offer you in brandmannetwork.com. It's completely free. The link is in the description if you wanna talk with us directly or some of the people in our community in between videos so you can ask questions specific to you or hop on one of the live sessions that you see on the channel when we're speaking with other artists. Brandmannetwork.com is the place to go. Hop into our app, it's really dope, and you get access to free courses as well but it might not be free forever. So hurry up and get in there before I change my mind.